way back in the saddle again. It's been a rough day. You know, that's not over. I got a stove. Huh. I don't trust that spare though. I know it's been it's been under the truck unused since I've got this truck and I've had this truck for quite a while. Full throttle. Jeez. I noticed that like when you're by the roadside picking something up, people like to stomp on the gas. From, from earlier. I don't even feel like straightening it out enough. Physically exhausted. You wonder why you have problems. I'm physically, emotionally drained. You need to go on a retreat. Okay. There's no money for that. And I wouldn't everything would go to hell if I if I did that. I'm lazy. I gotta keep this on the truck. I'm gonna add another 80 pounds to the to the situation permanently. <sighs> Big fat and old. Wednesday is the one day of the week I don't normally go out looking for scraps. I either take care of like special detail stuff or uh, work on the compound, work on whatever, whatever's broken in the car.
channel called uh, Trinket Goblin. Go check it out. He's got uh, he's got some of the same issues. He did a live a live show today. He's got some of the same issues I got with my neighbor. He, his neighbor had probably what what I call the government, but you know just some just some Nazi with a camera taking pictures of everything, taking pictures of a shed, taking pictures of the inside, the inside of his truck, that's right, that's, for all, all you uh, non-American viewers, some of these towns, they're like controlled by Nazis, I swear to God, and uh, they send government people out there, no bull, to take pictures of everything. Even the inside of your house, if the drapes are open, they'll go right up to your window and take a picture of the inside of your house. They take pictures of the inside of your car, anything that they can see. They start taking pictures away. It's unbelievable. legit 
and that's when it turns on them and they're harassing. So that's the way to play the game. Until I get the place perfectly straight at my house and then the plan is to start banging on metal intermittently just banging on steel and hammering away you know kind of like fighting it like a guerrilla war you have to think of it as like a war so that's how I'm going to play this game every now and then I'll be banging around on some steel and I won't do anything for a long time. I'll let it off. Was this another scrapper? Nah, it's just somebody hustling some furniture. Yeah, they'll drive you. Out. They will drive you out of the neighborhood. Drink a goblin. They'll uh, they'll drum you out, and uh, then your kids have to go back to a shit school. That's how, in America, that's how, how it is. The people around, okay, if it's a decent area, decent area, you know, meaning like the school gets high scores, all right, and you work for yourself or you're like a scrapper or whatever, the people around, they watch, okay, and they will drum you out of the neighborhood. They will do everything they can to get rid of you. This is a, I'm talking about a fellow YouTuber, 